for Amnesty, it was a quite deliberate choice to go and use an open source uh, tool. We didn't want to be stuck with uh, high license prices um, or forced uh, upgrades where we weren't ready for. Um, and in a way, we want to, to be able to move at our own pace. So when in the beginning fundraising was really important, we invested a lot there and didn't care about the rest that much. Right now, the fundraising part is more or less working properly, but we, can, we could concentrate on the emailing part. And it allows us to, to tackle the issue that is most important to us at that moment. We set the, the goals, if you like, for the year, and then we, we work through that during the year in each sprint. This sprint approach allows us to work together as a team to say, this is what we want to achieve and this is how we're going to do it. And we try to introduce this with as many non-profits as we work with to say this type of approach actually works really well. One sprint is two days when uh, developer, CV developers are coming over to our office and then we assign the priority is issues, we discuss them and we work at really focused, we do some really focused work on that only. The term originates from this kind of scrum uh, project management approach, but it's not, it's not strictly that. It's more of a way of saying, um, let's get together regularly, reprioritize, let's work on that. Um, um, it's this focused working on the same thing for a day or two that, that, that really makes the difference. When we started working with Amnesty, what we want to achieve in the long run is um, lots of automated stuff. So the street recruitment, if someone signs a petition, if a donation is made, all of that should be um, uh, all, as automated as possible. But there is many, many, many aspects covering that. There's organizational aspects, there's website aspects. There's... So it's impossible to say we're just going to do this in three months. So what we rather said is, if you like, is we'll, we'll create a budget and the budget will allow for 11 sprints, because we, we don't sprint at the summer, 11 sprints a year with two people. And with that budget, we will make it better. When they, when they come in, we go through the issues, through the sprint boards. Um, I hear from my colleagues this or that doesn't, doesn't work properly or our management says we have a strategic view, we need to invest in this or that. And these issues are then gathered in one sprint. And then we just start working and it's uh, quite organic. Uh, if we need to, to sit together and, and talk about something, it's not that we need to schedule a meeting. When we started here, one of the biggest issues was with street recruitment, where the, the period between someone signing up on the street for donations and their first payment would be way too big. And by creating an extension and to automating that process, we managed to bring it down two to three times the amount of time. So that's like real impact on, on the donations and real impact on the organization. The uh, street recruitment extension decreased the time be between handshake on the street and the first uh, time that a person was paying was at first about three months and now it's less than one month. We gather all the information into CV so that we get a kind of 360 degree uh, view on who our supporters and contacts are. So that we know, um, are they mostly interested in signing petitions? Are they writing letters by hand? Are they um, joining events? Are they donating? Or are they doing everything at the same time? With the CRM, is so close to your everyday process and your business processes, you have to do it together. And by doing it together, you get the combined, you get the, if you like, one and one is three, because someone will explain why they want it, which allows us to say, well, if that's the reason you want it, have you thought about doing it this way? Or what would happen if, 
So you, uh, it frees space to use your combined brains to come up with the best solution. We are working with the same people for over a couple of years. So they are becoming a bit uh, part of the family. They also know how amnesty works, how we think. Um, we try to involve them in what is on our strategic roadmap or what are our ideas to, um, to develop in the future. And sometimes we just start a sprint with somebody, with, with one of the developers coming in and saying, well, I did some work on that and you were interested in, in it as well. Uh, if I recall correctly, um, we can just implement it. And that's cool. All, all of the things we do at Systopia is open source because we believe in this idea that, you know, we want to build something together. The nice thing about being it being open is that there's no one stopping like three or four organizations to combine and say, let's fix this together. And then we'll split the bill by four. During the summer, um, we wanted something to be done about a uh, better deduplication mechanism in CVCRM. We started it before the summer, but during summer, we didn't have a lot of time internally. There were vacations, so it didn't progress much. But in September, when we wanted to start back on it, it just happened that another organization in Germany had been working on it very heavily. So a lot of our questions were already solved before starting. I don't see myself as a software supplier. I don't see CV Co-op as a software supplier. Um, I see myself as the family member that knows about CV CRM. You don't feel any hierarchy. We are sitting there together trying to do whatever is required to, to have maximum effect with Amnesty. It gives me a lot of um, joy in my work and peace of mind that I'm doing something. I'm not on the barricades. I'm not the one advocating with governments for better human rights, but uh, with the skills and talent that I have, I can support the good cause to, uh, to be better.